Yo, what's good, people? This is your boy, Big Brucey. In the place to be. Uh, very excited about bringing to you the official unboxing of Tomb Raider, the collector's edition slash survival kit, as well as the limited edition strategy guide. And um, very excited about this moment. I have been a Tomb Raider fan for about 17 years now. So, uh, for those that don't know, that kind of means I'm kind of old, but I'm still young. Anyway, um, all kind of aside, uh, I own every single game from the, the PS1 to the PS2 and now PS3. So, I'm very excited about this moment the uh, reinvention of Tomb Raider. So, let's get to the unboxing. Let's go. Oh, and by the way, this video would not be possible if it was not for my lovely love of my life, Miss Gloria Dandridge. Turn the camera to you for a <laughs> I can't see. Can you see me? There she is. <laughs> Look at her, rocking that hat. That's my hat, by the way, y'all. She stole my hat. So. Anyway. All right, y'all. Let's get to it. The moment we've been waiting for. All right, those of you, right, right. <laughs> those of you who think I'm taking too long, um, don't judge me. Don't judge. Me. Now, before we take this thing apart, we'll look at this back here. It tells you everything that comes with it, and um, of course, you get the main game figurine, badges, weapon DLC, even get the soundtrack to the game, which is awesome, and this really nice tin can map, lithograph, the whole nine. So, all right. Oh boy. There we go. Oh, over there. The survival kit tin. Very nice. Very nice. Move this over a little bit. Oh, and look what we got here. We got a little something underneath here. What is this? Oh, nice. This is the Tomb Raider art book. Um, there's the back. Let's see. The, the iconic Laura Croft Survival is Born. Got some nice pictures in here. I ain't gonna spoil y'all too much. Get the game and then you can look at all this stuff. But some neat pictures. All right. So that's the art book. Now let's see what's inside this tin can. All right, there it is. The main game for the PS3. Was the back looks similar to the back of the bigger cover. Oh, and by the way, people, um, PS3, not Xbox. Everybody that's done an unboxing of this collector's edition is mostly Xbox users, so let me just put it out there. Xbox is trash. Okay, getting back. Alright, All right, so that's the game. And we got the original soundtrack got 10 songs on it 
Um, I am a professional musician, producer, music lover, so I'm going to very much enjoy um, listening to this great music. It's a great epic game, for sure, for sure. And uh, here we got the, this is the, do the download content for the weapons from Hitman. I don't play Hitman, but, you know, the weapons, if they're cool, I'll use them. The code is on the back, which I will not reveal for those of you who like to steal. Uh, but anyway, that's our content. So looking forward to that. And uh, <laughs> my baby laughing at my silliness right now. Now this one here, this is kind of cool. This is um, a map, actually. And um, this this is actually the map of the island of Yamatai and it is pronounced Yamatai for those who don't know um, so very much looking forward to exploring this island lots of danger and intrigue and on the back we get a little mini poster of the heroine herself Miss Laura Croft a young young girl in this game she's just fresh out of college on this one so very cool, very cool. all right so that's a nice map next we have this is what's called a lithograph and um, very nice limited edition uh, artwork of Laura and on the back there it says Certificate of Authenticity, an official Tomb Raider lithograph. So that's the real thing, guys. Real thing. So all nice stuff. Nice stuff. And the famous figurine that everybody's been talking about. Um, and actually, before we look at that, these are these iron-on badges. You get three badges, and uh, I read that you can either iron them onto a shirt or a hoodie or something or even um, stitch them if you choose I'm not going to do that you know it's just strictly collector's item for me so just keep that up and here's the figurine people um, this is definitely a good deal these things are usually like sixty dollars alone but uh you get a good deal getting it with the the game, the collector's edition. So I will take this out so you guys can see a little bit more. Oh, look at that! She's so ready to fall out. <laughs> all right, now guys, I'm not gonna open all of this here, but this is just this has her uh, her bow and. Um, there's an arrow in there as well. Uh, you know, these are just things that you can attach to her figure if you choose to. Um, I may do that at some point. Um, no rush. I'm really somebody that likes to keep things, you know, bottled up. So I probably won't put this together. But here you go. You get some extra hands. Get a pistol, a pickaxe, and a shotgun. Again, these are all accessories that you can put attached to her figurine if you choose to. And uh, so there she is, guys. Uh, I said that the, these arms are kind of interesting to turn around, but um, uh, this is her doing her her uh, her juke or whatever. She's, <laughs> she's trying to be cool. <laughs> But uh, anyway, that's her, guys. So, uh, nice stuff. Nice stuff. And again, um, I'm not going to, I'm probably going to put all of this back up. You know, I really don't necessarily have to have her sitting on my dresser or whatever. You know, it's just a nice collector's item to have. And so, it's good stuff. So. so, now we've got the survival kit. Um, and we are moving on to the strategy guide. Now, let me tell you this real quick. 
anybody that knows me knows that whenever I get a game like Resident Evil or Tomb Raider or whatever, um, I always get the guide, but I don't use it right away. I, I like to play through um, each game at least one time and, you know, just get a feel for it. And then, you know, when I beat the game, complete the story, I'll go back and, you know, find all the treasures and different stuff like that. So, anyway, so I won't be using this right away, but, uh, you know, it's just another collective item I have. So, here we go. i open up this tool. Oh, and by the way, there is some exclusive content on this as well for getting the limited edition version. Uh, we'll look at that in a moment. Let me get this wrapping off of here. All right. All right, now this is the official limited edition strategy guide nice shiny finish and uh... that's the back of it that's uh... part of that ship shipwreck uh... very nice and uh... Um, we're hearing sounds over across the way uh, don't worry it's just the ghosts that live next door so it's all good we, we, we were well, well acquainted anyway uh... Opening this guide up, nice picture of Laura there, TR, wondering what that stands for, but maybe you can help me out later. <laughs> anyway, uh, nice, nice little artwork of her, uh, we got some table of contents. I won't take you through all of this, you know, this is just something you can look at when you get a chance to pick it up, but, uh, you know, it's got everything you need in it, uh, characters, Information on characters, lore, of course. Um, good stuff here. Uh, they also have some multiplayer um, information in here as well, upgrades, all that good stuff. So you guys check it out when you get a chance. And I'm going to look through this stuff later. Um, oh, yeah, I've got some redemption codes there. Oh. <laughs> we'll not show you, but. It doesn't matter. By the time this video is uploaded, I would have redeemed everything anyway. So, it's all good. And, we go along with stuff you guide. They also give you uh, wrappers that stick to you with static electricity. I love you. Alright. Here, of course, you get information on Laura about the game and um, they include this custom designed amulet and I will take that out in a moment but uh, you also get a couple of download codes for some characters you can use in multiplayer should be cool looking forward to checking that out um, awesome stuff alright if I can get this open They make everything so hard to get to these days. But, uh, that's why we love unboxing stuff. Alright. Here is the amulet that Laura wears in the game. Nice thing. Uh, you know, if I was the rock climbing type, I might rock this, but. I'm just going to keep it nice and nestled in here, so no big deal. Let's see, I got it out of here. Let's see if I can put it back in. Oh, all right. Well, that's not too bad. All right, so that is the nice amulet collection. Alright. I'm going to put everything out here so you guys can get everything together.
Oh, this is very exciting, people. Alright, now you can get a good look at everything. Very good deal for a uh, hundred bucks. Very, very nice deal. And I do not usually do these collector's editions, but I had to go all out for Tomb Raider. It is my favorite game. Those of you who know me know I'm also a huge Resident Evil fan. Um, you know the deal. But uh, Tomb Raider first. I grew up on that. You know, I used to have a Sega Genesis, Nintendo, and all them things. Now, I didn't get the Atari. I ain't that old, y'all. I ain't that old. But uh, PlayStation, when that hit stores and Tomb Raider came out, I was just... I was there. I was just in it. Um, so anyway, oh, this is my mom here, by the way, uh, coming in from, she flew in from Hollywood, Hollywood singer, we just finished a jazz CD, and she did an awesome job, so anyway. <laughs> but yes, people, so that is, <laughs> so uh, that's it, people, this is the official unboxing, this is my version anyway, um, I've checked out quite a few of the unboxings, you know, you got people on there, you got some retards on there, folks acting silly, but um, I hope mine was pretty decent for you guys. Um, those of you who share a love for Tomb Raider and all that good stuff, happy gaming to you. I hope to see you online. Let's beast it out on multiplayer, all that good stuff. You know, I'm going for the 100% platinum, you know how I do. Big Drewski boy, that's how we do it, so. Alright, so I'm wishing you all well. God bless you. Uh, feel free to click the like button. And uh, if you don't like it, well, you can click unlike too. Whatever, but uh, I hope that this is awesome for you. So, my baby's about to fall, so I guess we better end this thing quickly. But, uh, anyways, God bless, and uh, I'll see you at the top. Peace.